back. Well, I'm back in Mexico City. And I'm just having this wonderful little cappuccino. I just got in from the airport. You can see my baggage. Oh, this tastes so good. This tastes so good. It's so nice to be back here. I love Mexico City. You could probably tell because I've been here so many times, so many videos. Um, I'm just waiting for my friend while I have this cappuccino. Um, so I just wanted to start this video by giving you guys um, a little pro tip if you come to Mexico City. And this is what you have to be careful of because it just happened to me and I just want to share this with you because I don't want it to happen to you. I really don't want it to happen to you. So I bought a gift for my girlfriend here. A little trinket, little trinket of jewelry, just a little jewelry. And I had no idea um, that when you come out of the airport, well, I, I knew you did. I knew you had this. I knew um, that when you come out of customs, that you before you exit the airport, there's like an X-ray scanner. And you got to put your baggage through, right? I knew that. So what I didn't know is that if you they're looking they're looking for valuable stuff, so like jewelry, valuable stuff, anything they can grab. So they happened to find this in their scanner and they pulled me over. They asked me if I had a receipt, how much it was, etc. They did a little, they have an app on their phone where they can kind of do a picture of it, scan it, and they'll, they'll tell them how much the value was. And then what happened is the lady said, oh, this is valuable, you know, it's, we have an import charge, you know, and you have to pay 19% and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, here we go. I got caught in the uh, in the in, in the corruption scam because this is this is a shakedown. So I knew now I was going through a shakedown. So then I tried to negotiate. She brought over her friend who was like the official customs guard. She was just the inspector, but her friend came over and then they were telling me, well, you know, this is very expensive, it's gonna be so much in US dollars, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And uh, um, so, um, yeah, so I got caught in this corruption scam. Eventually they lowered the price, they lowered it uh, to like 15,000 pesos, which is about 100 Canadian dollars, about 75 US dollars. Not bad, but still, it's crazy, right? So I had to do the transfer. I did it was wise because I just wanted to get out of there. And I knew I, there was nothing I could do. Either I had to like give them the jewelry, which was dumb, or pay the tax, or what, fine, whatever. So, and I knew they were totally corrupt because they turned the light down on my phone so it was dim. They took me to a special place where nobody, there was no cameras. They were very, they, I mean, it was pretty obvious this was a shakedown. You know, and they were just making some extra cash. This was a side hustle for them. So beware that this can happen to you. So apparently anything over $500 US, you have to declare and there's tax on it. But I don't think they care about that because they don't want the money going to the government. They want the government, they want the money going to them. So they're gonna try and get you to pay a fine or something, but basically you're gonna pay and it's weird, I did this wire transfer right there. It's like so totally corrupt, it was, it was funny. Anyways, as soon as I got out of the airport, I called Wise to try to cancel it. They said they were working on it, but then I called my bank and told them exactly what happened and they put a stop payment on it. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna stop the payment and everything's gonna be fine. But next time, be very careful. Um, I can't advise you what to do, but what I would do is that if I'm having jewelry with me or something like that, I'm gonna put it in my coat pocket. I'm not gonna leave it in a box in my luggage where they can scan it. I'm not gonna put it through the scanner somehow. So if they see it, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, we know, we know what's gonna happen. So that was my story for today. A very interesting story. 
it kind of like threw me off because I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting it. I've come into Mexico before with, you know, with jewelry and stuff like that. Uh, but this time, I have no idea. So next time, either don't bring the jewelry or anything valuable buy it here or if you are uh, make sure it's not worth very much if you're willing to declare it if you don't want to declare it try to stash it in your pocket or something so that you know it doesn't go through the scanner if I had not uh, if I had not put this bag here through the scanner they wouldn't have found it so again lesson lesson and uh, I hope that helps anybody who's coming into Mexico be wary of what you're bringing they will go through your bags. And that's why they check them. I've never been in another airport where they x-ray them uh, when you're leaving the airport. That's never happened to me. But I think that's why they do it. So be careful with that, all right? So I'm going to finish this coffee and I'll catch up to you guys later. Ciao.